Hi everyone, this is Dikshit. Welcome to my channel. In this particular video, I'm going to discuss about adapter containers in Kubernetes. So in Kubernetes, we have a lot of uh, container patterns like sidecar containers, adapter containers, and ambassador container. So all these are similar type of containers. Uh, we can say help con helper containers, which runs beside your application containers. The usage of, depending on the usage of the container, we have just given a name for it. So for example, let's say if you call that container, whichever you're using it. So then uh, it will be in a, a situation wherein uh, your application logs are there. Uh, it has to be exported to some other external system. So sidecar container, it will be sitting in between your application container and that central logging system. And it will gonna uh, take the logs and forward it to that uh, uh, any centralized logging system. For example, uh, let's say you have uh, Splunk. So the sidecar container can be a uh, Splunk forwarder, which, which collects the logs from application and forward it to a Splunk. And then uh, adapter container. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss about this adapter container itself. So this is mainly used uh, for, for example, let's say your application is generating a kind of a uh, data. It has to be transferred, transformed uh, should. So then only it will be understood by the end system in other end system. So in that case, you can use adapter container. So adapter container is basically kind of like a data transformation. And then the third one is ambassador container. So ambassador container are a proxy container. For example, let's say you have application container. So it has to communicate with uh, any some external uh, websites. So wherein uh, so some it has to go with uh, through some proxy. In that case, you can use a proxy container and then you can send your requests and all. So in this video, as I've already mentioned, I'm gonna explicitly talk about um, adapter container. So a simple scenario I can uh, tell you like where we can use adapter container. For example, let's say uh, we have applications uh, running, uh, like we have Go language application, we have Python application, Java application. So for example, let's say those all applications will gonna send their metrics, okay? But um, in in this uh, in this uh, setup, I have one problem. That one problem is Prometheus. Prometheus, I'm using it as a uh, monitoring solution, wherein like Prometheus expects uh, the input, the scrap target should be there in a proper manner. So uh, as you can see in the right side picture, it 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 should be like this: the key space value. It it will expect in this format. So assume like my applications are not generating the metrics in this format. They they are generating in some other manner. So I want somebody who can transform the data uh, from the application to uh, the way Prometheus understand. Then some agent or somebody should be there, right? So that is what uh, we can take ambassador container, sorry, not ambassador container, adapter container. So wherein it, it changes, it transfers the data from one type to other type, which can be understood by Prometheus. So let's go on to the mission and we will see a simple demo. So I have Nginx container. So NGNX is my, uh, I'll assume that as my application container. So we will gonna try to uh, see how NGNX metrics will be. And by using NGNX um, Prometheus exporter, we will see how it will be uh, transformed. And then we can use that scrap data and we can monitor the, that thing using Prometheus. So let's get onto the cluster. And before that, so I've already uploaded all the files that I'm gonna use in this demo. Uh, to the Kubernetes uh, repository. Uh, in, in Kubernetes repository, the folder name is Kubernetes container pattern. And under that, I have, I gain one more folder, which is adapter. So now, uh, so let's go on to that. So I'm already in that. And uh, so let me show you the files that I'm gonna use. So, uh, which has uh, basic three files. The first we will have a look at uh, config map. So this is a config map that I'm using. Uh, so this is, I want to change uh, my default configurations of NGNX. So these, these are the default things it will be there, but the main thing that we need to concentrate is here. So I'm uh, creating an endpoint wherein NGNX can expose uh, its um, uh, metrics. So that endpoint is NGNX under cost uh, status. So wherein like when, when I uh, ping that uh, this endpoint or like when I query this endpoint, I'll be able to get the metrics related to NGNX. So this is my a simple config map. So I'm just copying onto my pod. And uh, the next one is uh, my uh, pod, pod YML. 
uh, here if you see, uh, it is very simple. The EPA version is V1, kind is pod, and the metadata. I've just given web server and labels also have given web server. And in the volumes, I want to copy that config map onto my pod, right? So that's why I'm just creating a volume. And uh, this volume should be referred in my container as a volume mount. You can see here, so this is a place, my uh, a default conf will be there, right? So I've used a volume mount as well. And I'm using a container. Obviously my web server will be in JNX and the port for that is 80. And uh, so I'm using again, a adopter container. Here the image you can see NGNX Prometheus exported and a particular version. And you can see, uh, so as I said, I'll be exposing a particular endpoint. So if you see the config map, so there I've told you, right? Like I'm exposing a one endpoint wherein you can scrap the data. So this is where like I'm trying to uh, access that particular endpoint. And this is the one like um, I'll be able to see the metrics also by using this port. I'm exposing this port for this adapter container. So when we create this and when we try to do a curl on this, so we will be able to see so what how the data is transformed. And now the last part on the service YML. So very simple, I'm creating a node port or uh, type of a service and uh, EPA version is given kind of service and I'm giving uh, uh, my uh, metadata. So it depends on your project, what tags you want to use and the type is node port. So I want to access, I want to access this outside the world. So I'm just giving uh, that's why node port and you can see the ports I have target port and the port node port I've defined and then again selector. So that uh, in the pod, the match label should be app colon web server. So that's why I'm giving selector apps web server. So now let's go ahead and uh, deploy these things. So I'll do kubectl apply iPhone F dot. I want all three files to be created, right? So that's the reason I just did by using a single command. Now let us check kubectl get all and my web server what is running? So which is two out of two are uh, running. Uh, it, it's there in a running status because uh, one is my application and another one is my adopter container. And you can see the port as well. So this is what the port. And now, uh, so let me go to uh, GitHub. I've given few commands here. So you can execute these things and you can go and uh, you can execute these things and scrap the matrix. So let's log into the container and oh sorry about that let me clear the screen and let me copy this part and then uh, now i'm inside the, my pod and now when i uh, i want to do uh, curl curl to that endpoint right so in this pod basically in this container i don't have curl installed so that, that's the reason I have this command. So let's install this. And then now we will do curl local host nginx status. So this is the point wherein like we will, I have exported and like I should be able to see the metrics related to nginx, right? So this is how like uh, this format it will gonna give, but this format won't be understood by Prometheus because my monitoring solution is Prometheus, right? It won't be understood. So that's the reason somebody has to be there to transform this data uh, to other format wherein like Prometheus and can understand. Also, if you remember, I've created a service by exposing uh, a port like nine or uh, double one three and slash metrics. So when I do this, and so this is the port uh, to access my ambassador container. So when I do this, you can see this is the format which can be helpful to uh, helpful for Prometheus to monitor your particular nginx. So this is how like uh, if you want to transform any data. So like in my case, I've used nginx and uh, I've used an adopter container which transforms the data from one format to other, which can be understood by Prometheus, which is centralized uh, a monitoring system. So in this, I'm not installing Prometheus and I'm not scrapping it here. So I have a series uh, for Prometheus itself. So wherein like you can go and you can see how we can scrap a particular endpoint by using Prometheus. So this is, I just want to uh, let you know that like uh, we can use different patterns and depending on your situation, you can select what pattern you need to use. In this scenario, I want to transform the data from one uh, 
format to other, right? So that's the reason I've used adapter container. And then I, I could able to transform the data. And also we have uh, created a node port, right? We, we'll be see, we will be able to access this application in browser as well. So let's do that. Now, uh, my, uh, so it, which is running in, uh, I have only uh, one master node and one uh, and node like, uh, so let's check on what node it is running on. And then uh, let, let me get the IP of that. And then you can see here uh, my pod, uh, which is running on a uh, cube node one, okay. And the IP for that is, uh, my IP for that is 34 dot uh, one, 12368 is. Yes. So now what I'll do is, so let me take the node port. Uh, so the node port for this to access NGNX is this one. And when I take this and when I uh, give here, so you'll be able to see NGNX homepage. Okay, and if you want to check the, if you want to access the adapter container, so when in, so this is where it will gonna, on this port, it will gonna be exposed. And when I do here, so you'll be able to see NGINX exporter and it should be slash metrics, right? So this is where you'll be able to see your metrics. So yeah, that's it for this video. So if you've liked the video, please share and subscribe. Thank you, have a good day.